There you go. Good job. Like many military families, the Wanners are used to bouncing around. They've moved four times in the last 12 years, most recently to Fort Meade in Maryland, all while raising a family on a single military income. You're trying to provide for more than one person, and all of a sudden you have to furnish a house. You have new bills. Some of those bills have been costly. When we came back from overseas, we had to rent a car for two months while we waited for our other car to get shipped, and that was a massive expense. Nearly 11,000 active duty service members and their families can shop here at the exchange at Fort Meade. Like many military families, they face some unique challenges when it comes to managing money. Long deployments, moving expenses, cost of living adjustments, and one of the biggest hurdles facing military families today, debt. All together? Yes. Eric and Jana got into trouble when they started spending extra money they received from Eric's deployment bonus while he was serving in Afghanistan. And we got comfortable with it. So when it ended, all of a sudden it's like taking a big pay cut. Yes, absolutely. Marine Corps veteran and financial advisor Renee Brewer says low starting salaries and the structured world of military pay make it difficult for service members to dig themselves out of debt. Once you get promoted, naturally you get a pay raise. But if you need to make up a $20,000 difference in a year. It's not like another service is going to knock on your door and say, let me take you in and, and, you know, take you up three rungs. Today, most military families are more worried about money than going into battle. In a recent survey, service members and their spouses ranked financial stress as a greater concern than even deployment. For military spouses, it was the number one worry, with 49% saying it's their top concern. It was a struggle. Um, we were moving things around, trying to figure out, well, what do we pay now? What do we put off? But Brewer says, like being a good soldier, it takes financial discipline to turn it around. You really want to throttle back uh, lifestyle if it got out of control, get yourself um, back on the right path. Now it's your turn. That's exactly what the Wanners did. We sat down and we made a budget together and we stuck with it and we didn't do anything fun because we figured it was less fun to be deeply in debt. A valuable lesson they're hoping to pass along to their children and share with other military families.